One of Typeform's most important features is the ability to add branching and logic rules to a form so that you can send people down different question paths depending on how they answer certain questions. So whether it's called branching or logic or adding rules, it all serves the same purpose to guide your respondents towards specific questions. So the classic example that we've always used is with cats and dogs. If you have a form with questions about cats and dogs, and someone says they like dogs, you only want to show them the questions about dogs. And the same goes for cats. If someone says they like cats, you only want to show them the questions about cats. So this is essentially what logic helps you achieve. Send dog lovers down the question path for dogs and send cat lovers down the question path for cats. And of course, this is a very basic example of logic, but it does help you visualize exactly what the feature is trying to achieve. So now I'm gonna walk you through a slightly more realistic example of how you can add branching and logic to your form. First, let's start with our form. In this example, we are an online flower shop and this is our order form. So we have questions about the bouquet, adding a vase, adding a personal message, and then a delivery address and date. Finally, we have the contact details of the buyer and the payment question, where I've recalled all of the important information from the order. And then at the very end, we have an end screen to confirm that their order has been submitted correctly and that they will receive an email confirmation. So when creating a form with Logic, we highly recommend doing a bit of pre-planning and then adding your questions before getting in there and adding your Logic. Okay, so let's start by going to Workflow. As you can see on the map here, we haven't added any branching yet since it's all in one straight line. So to start adding some branching, you have a few options. The first is by clicking branching. Or you can zoom in on your questions and start adding logic by dragging and dropping or by clicking on the question. So let's start here. In question one, we offer a selection of bouquets, but we also have an other option in case someone wants a custom bouquet. So let's start by adding that branching. I'll click add rule. A rule is the condition that needs to be met to send people down a certain logic path. So here we'll say, if the answer to question one is, and then we'll select D, the custom bouquet, then we will go to question two, which is the one for choosing the custom bouquet. So just to call out a couple of things here, you can set the operator to be is or is not, depending on what you're trying to achieve. And then for the action that you want to happen, you can choose to go to a certain question or do things like add calculations in case you wanna do things like add a price or a score to the form. I won't go through all of that here, but we do have other resources to help walk you through how to add those to your form. So we've added logic for those that want a custom bouquet to go to the next question. If they don't want a custom bouquet and choose one of the others, which would be in all other cases, then we want them to go to question three, where they can decide if they want to add a vase to their order. Okay, so let's click save on that so you can see what it looks like here. That logic has now been added so that if someone wants a custom bouquet, they'll go to question two. And if not, they'll go to question three. And then of course, those from question two will by default be taken to question three, which is what we want. So let's do a quick test run with the preview. So if we choose any of the first three bouquets, we should be taken to the question about choosing a vase. So that works perfect. And then if we go back and try with the custom bouquet, then we are taken to choose the flowers that we want. So let's choose three and then click continue. And then we are taken to question three. So that's perfect. And if you click here, you can see a preview of the logic rule that you've set up on this question. Okay, let's add some more logic. The next one is quite simple. It's a yes or no question asking if they want a vase. So we'll add a rule and if they say yes, then they'll go to question four to select their vase. 
And here again, since there are only two options, we'll say that in all other cases, they should go to question five, meaning they skip the vase selection. So you can always add another rule if you want to set different conditions on the same question, especially if you have more than two answer options. But again, since there are only two here, we'll keep it simple and use in all other cases. So we'll just delete this rule here. And if you want to add branching to different questions without using the map, you can simply click here to see all rules. All right, so let's scroll down to our final logic rule. So in question six, we ask if they want to add a personal message with the gift. So again, this is a yes or no question. If we click to add a rule and they say yes, then we will go to question seven to write their personal message. And in all other cases, so if they say no, they'll go to the question about contact details, skipping over the personal message question. Okay, so that is our branching logic done. So as you can see, just a couple of rules to skip different questions depending on their answers. Now, of course, since this is an order form, you'll have to go through and add calculations for the price of each product, which you can do from workflows and branching as well. I won't go through all of that here, but you can watch our video on how to add calculations to walk you through that entire process. Okay, so those are the basics about adding branching and logic to your form. We have a ton more resources about logic in our community and in our Typeform Help Center that'll help you go a bit deeper into this feature and your specific use case. And for more tips and tricks, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.